Hey everyone, today we are going to be doing, go way back in time, we're going to be doing a contouring video. It's very dark back there. Let me turn the light on. That's a bit better. All right, so we're going to go way back in time. I pretty much started my career on YouTube with contouring. So I'm going to apply the skin prep first, and this is that serum emulsion that I've been working on. And it just preps the skin, it allows it to go on everything to just <laughs> glide on. And we definitely want that when we're doing a look like this. So even though there's gonna be way more product than I care for, we're still gonna try and make it look as natural as possible. So I'm gonna be using Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage to begin with. Now I've depotted these, so that's why they look like that. So I'm gonna take the lightest colour in the palette and I'm just going to get a brush in there and I've got a snotty nose so we're going to start to work on the highlights so I'm going to place this where I want there to be light so down here I'm just going to feather that in slightly so this will kind of bring light to the face anything we lighten comes towards us and a little bit down the nose I'm going to paint just here in the forehead area just to lighten that bit we can get a bit flat as we get older I'm going to go from the outside corner of the eye all the way back same thing on the other side just to lift this area and then I'm going to just bring it down just for that kind of very upper part or top part of the cheekbone area here and a tiny bit just at the lip line and now to me that's about as much highlighting as I, as I want to do for my face. So now I'm going to pick a deeper colour and what we're going to do is start the kind of contouring process where we deepen certain things on the face so I'm taking this color here and don't be too frightened because you know we're going to shear it out we'll start here at the back of the ear now I'm going to curve it down by curving it down you are going to create a more masculine shaped face for some people particularly females they may prefer just to do the line across here or even curve it to give more of a kind of apple of the cheek. I'm going to add a smattering of it just along the forehead because you know, I've got a four forehead so I can afford to contour it and I'm going to go down the sides of the nose just like so and I'm going to make sure that I join it to the brow so that we've got that contour going on. Now at the end of this I'll also do a, a contoured eye as well but we can't leave it like this. A lot of people on YouTube will actually leave this look and we don't want that, we want to blend it. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is by Patrick Tarr and I'm just going to start to very lightly just blend that into the skin I don't want to blend it away but I want to soften it because I want to use minimal foundation because there's product on the skin already and then if we start to use really heavy foundations to cover this because we haven't blended it we're going to end up with a very heavy look and that isn't what I want to do I don't I don't like that kind of look I don't enjoy it so we're shearing it out first just so that things are a little bit more realistic it's funny a lot of things can come easy to certain people and I'm going to go in with my fingers to soften this down more contouring and highlighting I always find quite simple other things like eyeshadow took me a very, very long time to understand 
and come up with techniques and ways that I could apply it to myself because I found it so complicated. I saw other people doing winged eyeliner straight away and it was perfect and sharp and I was just going in and it was all over the place and I still feel that way today. I'm still not very good at winged eyeliner at all. I use a stencil. So I'm just blending this in just to soften it. I'm gonna blend that in a bit more as well. Just the spot there. I will leave the nose for now. I will come back to it in a minute. So I'm gonna use a foundation. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier, and this is real flawless. And it's really lovely. It's got quite a dewy finish to it. I'm gonna try shade 2C1. And I'm gonna apply a pump of it. Look how little comes out. I love that, that is amazing. So. I'm going to use just a little bit of it and then I'm really going to prime it into the hand. Now this has a very dewy finish and I want to make sure that all of it is on the brush. Then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to stipple over this. I'm trying to get rid of the shadow but not the dimension. So I'm just stippling it over trying to get rid of the lines but leave the lightness on the skin if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go in here to this inner bit that's light or lighter just like that. I love the fact that this foundation <laughs> produces the smallest amount you've ever seen. That is some of them you know you've got like five mils in your hand. No one wants that. Well I don't want that. You might. I don't. So I'm going all over it. I'm not doing this. I'm just stippling it on the skin. Not doing any damage. Not trying to hurt anything. Just gently trying to blend lines. So we can still see the light here. And when we powder that, it will be even more divine. Now I'm just gonna go over the forehead here. And here I might do a little bit more than just stipple. I may just do a little bit more of a circular motion at the hairline, just wanting to move it up a little bit more gently. But you've just added structure to the skin. So the skin isn't flat and one dimensional. This is a really nice foundation, really, really nice. I'm gonna add a little bit more, and I'm gonna go in that small blending brush, and I'm really gonna work it here, and then I'm gonna work it on the back of my hand first to knock off any excess product, because it's quite an oily foundation. So I'm gonna knock it off, and I'm gonna start down the center of the nose, and then knock off some more. And then I'm just gonna very lightly kind of buff the line so that it starts to look like a shadow and less of a hard line. Because we still want it there, but we just don't want it visible. We're still in that kind of contouring era where we think things should look visible or we see it on Instagram and Snapchat and all those other channels where we kind of think that, you know, the goal of contouring is to look like one hasn't been contoured. When, when you, you're defeating the purpose of it otherwise, it was known as a kept secret, a best kept secret contouring. But now we kind of see it as this visible lines everywhere and we think that that's how it should look. And, you know, it, it really isn't. So I'm going to take a tissue now and I'm just going to start to dab the skin to take away any of the excess product and the product oils because this is a look that needs some form of, well it needs powdering without a doubt. So you wouldn't know looking at me now that any of those lines really existed before. And by taking away the excess oils, we're ensuring a lot more longevity to our skin. So I'm gonna take some powder. This is by Huda. 
and I'm going to take a powder puff, I'm going to shake it first, and I'm going to take a powder puff and set things. Okay, so let's get some powder. I'm going to just smush it into the palm. And now I'm just going to powder everything. So this entire look will become matte and that's fine with me because we can add back shine if and when we want to. Now this is one of those looks that you could absolutely do a little bit of baking on. So we probably will just to add, but this powder, by powdering it, you're just ensuring those lines have been blended in and that you're not left with anything too visible. So let's do a little bit of baking just underneath the eyes, basically the areas where we added the highlight. So I'm just going to, just under this section, underneath the eyes, down the sides of the nose, just reinforcing that product. And then we'll just knock it off. You really don't need to wait, you know, six years for it. You really don't. You don't need to do other bits and pieces of the face. So let's get a brush, knock it off. So I'm just going to start to sweep around the forehead first, just to make sure that the, any excess product hasn't built up. And we're just knocking off this baking bit. It just adds a little bit more lightness to the skin that wasn't there before. So next I'm going to add in a couple of beauty marks because I've got a touch of blemishes. So I'm going to go in and just add just a couple there. Just gives the skin a bit more realness, but it also, you know, lets me kind of hide them a little bit more. So now what I'm going to do is reinforce some of the contour. I'm going to be taking Victoria Beckham and this is the lighter shade, I believe. No, it's not. I picked up the wrong one. There we go. So this is zero one. So I'm going to be taking the slightly warmer side and I'm going to take that same little brush. And what I'm going to do here is just gently reinforce the outside areas. And the reason I'm using not a particularly dark shade is because we don't want this to be visible. We don't want it to be too much. So it's just reinforcing what was there, but kindly, gently and subtly. Nothing too harsh. Then I'm going to take that same powder puff and I'm just going to go over those areas again just to ensure they're blended in. Now rather than adding in a lot of highlighter here, you know, a shimmery one, I'm just going to take a shimmery blusher. And this is by RMS. I've not used this one yet. And it is called Pomegranate Fizz. Very pretty. So let's see how it looks. So I'm going to sweep a brush into it and just kind of knock it off on the back of my hand because I don't know the intensity of this yet. And I'm going to just start to pop this just here. It's quite a pretty shade and it's also a little on the sheer side, which is nice. So I'm just taking that along the tops of the cheekbone, just trying to add a little bit of color, but not, not too much because we've, we've done contouring. And even though it's quite subtle, we, we don't want it to muddy the waters. When you start to add lots of pinks and other colors to um, contoured looks, it can start to look a bit Neapolitan ice cream. So that's why I'm always going back in with the sponge to soften all the edges. I'm going to take Merit. Still haven't heard back from them, by the way, with the order they cancelled. And I'm just going to fill in the brow a little bit because there's product in there. We've got that foundation. 
you know, we buffed everywhere and it can make the brows look a bit dull. So we're just going to go back in and just soften them. Well, add colour, should I say, not soften them. But just add a bit more colour, just to, you know, fully kind of shape the look. Now what I'm going to do before we do um, a bit of a contoured eye, I'm just going to add one single coat of mascara just to give you an understanding of the contrast between dark and light. So this mascara here is by Westman Atelier and I'm just going to use, God, that mirror is a thousand miles away. Just going to use a smattering of it just so you can see you see how light this looks now because the eyelashes have gotten darker that's the westman Tilia one it's a beautiful looking mascara it really is it's not outstanding but it's it's real pretty so while this dries i'm going to give my beard a bit of a groom and make sure there's no not too much product in it. Get rid of all the flakes. Give it a nice sort of sculpted look. I don't quite know how this looks until I edit it, but in the viewfinder, it looks really nice. And I've got to say, as I was as I was doing this um, tutorial, it, it's it's quite nice to be using a little bit more makeup, but still have it look natural and not heavy and thick and cakey you know I kind of miss doing stuff like this so we're going to contour the eye I'm just going to do one eye because I'm going to just wash all this shit off in a minute so with this look all we're going to do is two shades we are going to use a light one from lash line to brow bone to clarify the eye and it will be matte we use a second shade which is more of a contour shade and we'll contour this outside third of the eye so the first shade I'm going to use is this shade here in the palette. It's just a basic matte white. It's by um, a matte kind of taupe color. It's not even taupe. It's like a cream. Don't listen to me. I'm having a moment. I'm going to take my E1 brush and I'm just going to sweep this over the entire eye. Great brush to have for blending but great for just applying color quickly and all over the eye. When it comes to this outside corner, just make sure you feather it out so there's no hard lines. While we did that contouring, bring it up as well. But you're just clarifying the eye, just a touch, that's all. Just making it nice and bright and open. And even just that, I mean, I think that looks great and you know, my preference would be to leave it there, but that kind of defeats the purpose of showing you the kind of contouring element. So this is what I call my mid-tone palette. So it's just muted tones along. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take this shade here, which is a cool color and it's almost got a hint of kind of lilac in it. I'm just going to knock it off on the back of my hand because I don't want too much. I'm going to take my trusted tissue, which I'm going to fold, and I'm going to take it to the outside corner and lay it at the lash line. Now, right here, I'm going to start the outside corner, and I'm going to bring it up, but leaving this space here for the brow bone, and then I'm going to work it onto the outside corner of the lid, about a third of the way in, just like this, back and forward. And I'm just gonna remove it, and it's left you with this contoured eye. Now, if you wanted, you could follow this all the way in to that contoured bit here, just like that, but you don't have to. It's fine just to contour that outside edge. Now, if you have a more problematic edge, so I have a vein that travels all the way through here and it makes it look like it's hooded when it's actually 
just a vein. But if you want to try and get rid of that just a bit more, you would just need to take a slightly deeper shade and do the exact same thing, but just over that kind of problematic area. So we're just going to add the slightly deeper shade just here. I'm not all the way in, just on that outside corner. And if you want, you could just take that same light shade that we used originally, but this time on a smaller brush and just make sure that this inner corner is as light and bright as it can be. And then just blend into the center to soften the edge. So you've now got this contour going on. You've got this um, light right here moving into the dark. <clears throat> and that's how you would just go about contouring it. Now all I'm going to do, I hope, is just add another coat of mascara. Not trying to thicken the lashes, not trying to be fancy, not trying to create drama, but just add one more coat of mascara just to finish off this contoured look. <clears throat> and that's the look complete. I think it looks, I think it looks very nice. I think everything is where it should be. Everything has a purpose. There's nothing extreme about this, but we've added dimension and structure to the face. The eye has been contoured. There's light and dark everywhere on the face, but subtly, kindly, considerately placed so that you would walk out of the house and nobody would know that you've just spent four hours doing this. Um, now I'll edit this video and there's been a lot of talking and nonsense, but generally speaking, if I was to take the edits out, there's a couple of bits where I was moving around, it's probably took me 20 minutes. If I wasn't talking, I could get this done in about 15 complete. Now, obviously I've not done a lip because it frightens me when I put lipstick on myself. I do not like that look. I accept an eye, but I cannot accept the lip on myself. And that's it, it's all complete. So I hope you liked it and I will see you all soon, bye-bye.